Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an error on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. This is failed to load hardware monitor driver. This program must run as an administrator. So this should probably be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, first things first, go ahead and actually try and install the driver as an administrator. So if you're using a standard user account, Go ahead and sign out and sign into an administrative account. And then if you receive the user account control prompt, you go ahead and give permissions to that application to run with administrator permissions. So that's the first thing I recommend trying. Something else we can do here as well would be a temporarily disable driver signature enforcement. And then once we're done, we would re-enable it. So once you're done installing the driver in question. So pretty straightforward. And we're going to jump into that part of the tutorial now. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt, go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have both of these commands in the description of the video. So go ahead and copy the first one and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit and then select paste to paste it in. Should say the operation completed it successfully. Close out of here and restart your device. And then once that's done, you're going to go ahead and install the driver in question. Once you have installed the driver, I would then recommend reopening the command prompt. So type in CMD again into the search menu. Go ahead and right click on it. Select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And then we're going to go ahead and paste in the second command. It's the same as the first command. Instead of it saying on at the end, it's going to say off. So go ahead and copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and then paste that one in. Should say the operation completed it successfully. So at this point go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer once again. And then hopefully at this point your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do buzz it will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.